Let's dance. Let's dance. I'm gonna make her dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh hi guys. How you guys doing? I was just having my little uh, quirky fabric snippet doll here dancing around because she likes to get her groove on just dancing, dancing. So she's so much fun. <laughs> she is so much fun to make and I'm glad you guys are here. So I'm Tammy and welcome to Snowstorm Crafts. And today I want to show you guys, I asked you in the comments below when I showed you guys how to make um, these fun little twine little uh, fabric belts that go around. And I showed you guys how to put the uh, trinkets on and the little beads and stuff. So if you want to see and catch up how to do these little belts around, um, I'll put that on the end screen and you can come check it out. So it's going to be her little belt like that. So I show you guys how to do that. So today in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see how to make my fun little quirky fabric snippet doll here. And I got overwhelming response. So thank you guys so, so much. Isn't she just adorable? You guys fell in love with her like I did. She's super cute. So I'm going to show you guys how to make her today and let's get started. Okay. So let's put her over here for now. She can watch us, make sure we're doing it right. So what I have here is fabric scraps. Okay. And then I also have a, I'll show you the belt. I'm calling it a little belt, but it's pretty much just the twine, um, fabric twine. And I show you guys how to make that too. So I'll make sure to put that on the end screen. So that's a couple of videos you guys come check out. They're really fun, really easy. And then in another video, I show you how to put the beads on and the fun little trinkets. So this is just a little belt was what I'm calling them because you can see here. So I got different ones like that that just kind of go around it. So they're so fun. Okay. And what you're going to need is, uh, I show you guys also how to make this meditative, uh, scroll. And it's pretty much just the snippet roll. And I show you guys how I do this and what I use, which is just a uh, wine cork for the middle. So that's why I'm calling her my quirky, fabric snippet doll. I mean, it's just so fun. So much fun. Okay. So we're going to sort of wrap this around it. And like I said, I'll make sure to put all those at the end screen. You guys can get all caught up here. I'll do a fun little playlist. That's probably what I should do, huh? I'll just make this all into a little playlist of everything you need and what to do and how to put a list together. Just so much fun. All right. So there we go. So we got our little belt. So it's that. Plus I have a big old bead here. And <clears throat> excuse me, anything that I'm using, like all the accessories, the beads, and then the little trinkets and stuff like that, I'll make sure to post down in the, uh, it should be down in my Amazon links. You guys can check them out. So this is going to be for her head. So this is just our big old bead that we have here. So that's going to be the head. Plus I have all the fabric pieces here for hair and arms. And um, I also just need a little piece of coffee. This is coffee dyed. And then this one's coffee dyed fabric uh, just for the little skirt. You can see her little skirt around. Okay. What we will do is we'll wait on that. I just got this all back together, but let's take it back apart. We are going to go ahead and do her arms and legs and skirt. Okay. So I'm just going to open this up, move everything out of the way like that. And I'm going to pay, take my piece of lace here. And I have my thread and needle. Let's do that and then I'll tell you the measurements here. Let's see what do I got? One, two, three, four, so five inches. And we're just gonna attach it here. Let me roll it up. Because you just want it to roll around. And if it overlaps, that's fine. So just like that and have it hang at the bottom. And then it has our little skirt like that. Okay. So that's what we're going to 
do. So I would say four and a half probably inches because I can even cut off a little bit right here. Okay. And we're just gonna take our needle and thread and just do a running stitch. So let's just start up like this. I got a knot in the bottom. But if you don't want to do a knot, you could just do it with back stitch, which you just go a couple, uh, I mean, just go to a tiny bit behind it and then pop it up like this. And then it'll lock it into place. Okay. And we're just going to do a running stitch all the way down just to attach it. So I'm just putting the needle down and up. And you can just do it this way, down and up, and then pull it. So that's one way you can do it. It's just a little faster to do it that way. Uh, you can also pin it if you want to, but you can also go down and then up and then pull it through like that. Okay. So down, up. I just do that and then I can just get it through like that faster. And then I pull it so it's not all bunched. So just like that through and done so I just wanted to get it on there and then just tie it off there we go we got our little skirt then we're gonna want to do our little legs. So you can see I just attached some legs to the front part of the skirt. And meaning legs is just some of my coffee dyed, it's a it was a tablecloth and it's 100% cotton. So I coffee dyed it and it's got fun little frays in it. I love how it frays and then all the coloring. So I just took it and cut it into about a little two and a half inch strips and I ripped, I pretty much rip it, I don't cut them, an inch wide. So inch wide, two and a half inches long. So just however long you want the little dangly legs to be. So think about it, if you wanna roll it up, just to see where you want the legs. Like this, and then that's gonna go like that. So you just wanna see what the front is gonna be. And I usually do just the front around the fold here. So we could pin one leg here. We'll just get our little pins out. And it's gonna go back behind it. And we can always cut the legs if they're too long. So we'll just take it and go like this and just pop a pin in it so we can twist it more kind of make it all twisty so I don't know I was just sitting and uh, doing some hand stitching and making these fun meditate you know meditative uh, just scrolls and it just I went to bed that night you know and then uh as I'm falling asleep, that's when I come up with my best stuff, you know. I don't know if you guys do that, but I definitely do. So I'm just laying there thinking, like, what, you know, what can I do with that? And then it kind of popped in my head, wouldn't it be funny and fun to do a little doll? Like, make a fun little quirky little doll. And I was thinking quirky, you know. And I was like, why not call it quirky? A quirky, because you're using a wine cork. I mean, I don't know. It just all it just all kind of came together. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. It's just kind of a fun little, you know, not to me and meant to be serious or, you know, like, oh, geez, I got to do it perfect. Or, no, that's the fun part is to just do this however you want it. And it's just so much fun. Oh, my gosh. You don't have to, like, be serious about it. This is just a fun little see what we can make you know, no pressure, fun little project. And I just wanted you guys to, you know, craft along with me on it. And please, if you guys are enjoying this video, 
hit the like button. I mean, that helps me out so much. It gets my video out there further for other people to see how to do a quirky fabric snippet doll here. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. So what we're doing is I just pop some needles in there and I'm just pretty much just tacking it down. You know, nothing too fancy. Just kind of just going like that. I'm just getting it sewn on there. We just don't want the legs falling off. So I'll just do it a couple times. Like that. And then you can take your needle out. I just go through a couple times. Like that. Okay. So just one little leg. So I went ahead and just did some sewing on both the legs. I got them both attached. Now we're gonna roll this up. And she's got a cute little skirt and some legs. Okay, isn't that funny? I mean, how cute is that? Okay, so we got little legs. And like I said, we can cut those too if they're too long, but. We'll put her all together and then look at her. So I'm gonna take this and just see where I'm gonna want it when it's closed. So I'm just gonna pin it real quick. Okay. So we got our little legs in the front and then here's our little arms, which I did two inches and an inch just ripped. So it's all, but then you could twist it up however you wanna do it. And let me refer to what I did here. So I, there's the split. So I could do it however we want. So I'm gonna put it, leave the flap like this. I'm gonna make sure to go on the other side of the flap. Okay. So this one is gonna go here. I'm just gonna pin it for now, just so we size them up. So we got one there, and one on this side, right about there. Okay. So I'm just undoing that. gonna sew my little arm on. So right there. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just kind of just going in and out. Just getting the arm on there. Just pretty much tacked on there. Because you want it to kind of dangle around. Then I can dance. <laughs> that's so fun. I'm having too much fun. Okay, so that's probably enough. You just need to just pretty much just get it on there. And then I'll just do a little knot. Yes, I just go like that and then cut it. It's all fiddly. Kind of just get it tacked down. Okay. Keep 
just want to bunch up. And we'll tie this one off. Okay, so let's roll her up. Let's see if we're lined up. So that's all you do is just kind of just, you know, pin it where you want it. See where the arms hit when you have it all rolled up and the legs matching up. So as you can see, just like that. So we got some just arms and some little legs. And I think we might have to. Oh, you know what would be cute? Let's see if this will work. I'm just I'm winging it here, guys. Let's see. I wonder if we can make little feet. So this is two and a half inches long. So let's just pop this up say like a half an inch and then so I, all I did is fold it and then just go on the heel here and just oops I always pull too hard there we go gentle and then just whip stitch it around like that which I'm just going you know up and down here or up up through the bottom over and over and over see how that turns out oh my goodness look at that we made a little foot we made a little foot so I didn't do that on the other one so that's optional <laughs> if you guys want it a little foot okay. so I just took it you guys can see and I just about a half inch up just bent it just kind of like this and then bend it up just like that stitch it around oh my goodness it's so much fun so I think you know and if you guys if you're coming up with other ideas and different things like that make sure to hashtag me you know snowstorm crafts and on Facebook or Instagram anything like that and I will come check it out oh my gosh because I want to see or tell me in the comments you know if you guys have came up with a cool idea on something else to add to it or you know uh, little things that you can put on it and stuff wouldn't a little hat we'd be oh my god a little hat or something would be super cute uh i'm having a heck of time with this needle right now but uh yeah i would love to hear from you guys okay so there's a foot there is a foot there is a foot of foot <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna tie that off. Oh, little Patty wants to come say hi. She thinks it's her little snack time. Okay, so there we go, guys. Look at that, we got some feet happening. Is that funny? Oh my goodness, it looks like little feet. Those little feet, yeah, 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 yeah. See, now she can really dance. I gotta stop dancing her around. I'm not too much fun. Now, let's do the head. So what I got is some scraps. So just whatever, I about an inch wide and I don't know, we might, we're gonna wind up cutting them, I'm sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's nine, this one's a little longer. So just kind of whatever you got here. So it's just little scrap bits, okay? And what you're going to do, I'm thinking, I don't know if I pushed them all through at the same time, because that might be too much, but you got the bigger one, the bigger hole here. So what I'm going to do is let's just do this. So I fold it in in half and let's just pop it through, right? Hold on, bear with me for a second. So we're just gonna fold them in half. I'm trying to think, how did I do this? <laughs> you know, when you do something and you're like, how did I do that? So hold on, let's see. Maybe I put them all together. Let's just do it. Let's just see if it'll fit. 
because I know what I did is I left one to go around the neck. See how she's got a, like a little scarf around. So one's, one we leave hanging out. So I left one of the coffee ones hanging out of the bottom, okay? Okay, so let's just take our fabrics here and let's just do um, one at a time because the whole, I don't want to shove them all through at the same time because I don't think it's going to work. So we're just going to pop this one through and then go up like this with it. And I'm going to leave about one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and a half, five inch hang on the bottom, just for the one, whatever one you want to use for the little scarf around. So leave that one hanging out, okay? Then we're gonna do the next one. And we're just gonna individually just pop these through. I think that's gonna work better like that. So we're just gonna pop that one through and then fold it and then pop the other end through, okay? But just make sure don't push it all the way through like that. So just leave some down at the bottom because we're gonna be gluing all this down so nobody's gonna see that part down here, okay? So just depending on how big your hole is that you have for your uh, your bead, depends on how many pieces of fabric you can get through there, okay? Because you just kind of just do it like that. And if you need to, you can push the other one back through a little more. So you just kind of see what you can do here. And I'm thinking I'm going to go on the other side a little bit. And you can see this is inside out on this side, and then that's the good side. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, she looks good no matter what. She's got a great hair day going. She's got a good hair day going. Okay. I think her hair is the coolest part of all of this. I want to have crazy hair. Well, actually, I do have crazy hair some days. I have to put in like that leave-in spray conditioner stuff or just wow. Uh, I actually had straight hair when I was in Alaska because it, uh, it is dry there. It's super dry there in Alaska, if you guys didn't know that, because of the snow and all that. stuff. I don't know why. It just sucks it all out, and it's super dry. And my hair was straight, like bone straight. And then I moved here to Oregon where it's just moisture and all that. And man, just curly. My hair's curly and frizzy. So it's just so weird. It just depends on where you live, you know? So that's what I did is I just popped all that through there, okay? Now you can see that's really long. So depending on how long you want it, we're just going to wait to mess with that. So that's all I'm going to fit in there for now. So I won't be able to use this one. So that's why I said it just depends on how you want to do it and how much you want to get up through there. Okay? And we'll miss with all this later because we can cut it in between and fray it some more and stuff. So for now, what I want to do is we're just going to take some of our Fabrifix glue. And you could pull all like this a little bit. And let's get some glue up in there. So I'm just going to squirt some glue. So none of that, none of it's going to come out, you know, just kind of get some glue up in it and then twist this around. Wouldn't hurt. So there, it'll be tacked in there. And then if you want, you could just pop. I don't know if I did that on the other one, but just a little glue in there. Just make sure you're not getting it. We can see it. So there. So I'm just making sure that none of this just pulls out. So there we go. Okay. Now this one part. I think I'll just pin it for now and then we'll put the belt on at the end. Okay. So there we go. So we got the top of the cork here. We got all of our hair popping through and then I just glued little pieces just to make sure that's not gonna go anywhere. Now, what I want to do is, I'm just going to pop some glue down. Like that. Now, I'm going to put, so I want to see, I want that to be the face. So just depending, like look at your bead, 
see which way you want it to go. And I think the square is kind of cool. So I'm taking my little scarf, is what I'm calling it, and I'm going to put it over to the side. I'm going to pop this down. Okay. And you can even take it over to the side like that. Trying to make it, I was going to hold it so you guys can see too, but it seems to be difficult. Okay, so there we go. So that's the way I want her to face. Like that. And then you can just take it and glue because we're going to twist it around. So just go ahead and glue on the bottom part just all the way around like this because you're going to do your scarf. Add a little more glue if you need it on the bottom here. It's going to be a little gluey mess for a second. I know the hair is in the way. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see too. But I'm just taking it and wrapping it around. Okay. So you just take the scarf and go how you want it. showing just like that all right so you're just pretty much just like that so I just glued around the bottom and twisted it around and then later on you can always scratch off that glue if there's any glue in spots you don't want you could just take your nail and just kind of scrape it off so there we go. And if you need to glue right here where the scarf connects, just add glue wherever you see fit. Okay. Make sure the head is straight. This will take a while to dry too, to set up. So you can maneuver however you want with it. just so much fun. Okay, there. Now turn the bead whichever way you want it to be the face. And just make sure it's straight. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty good. It's pretty good. And this can all slide back down. I'm just kind of pushing things. Okay. Ta-da! We got a head. Okay. And the fun part is, is we can take our little scarf and if you want, you could just cut it and split it. I know the heads, I don't want the head to fall off. <laughs> we don't want that. So you can always wait for this to, to dry before you start, you know, fiddling, but I'm just kind of doing it to show you guys here. You can split it if you want. I don't want to pull too hard, but there. I'm just cutting it like a scarf and having like it go like that. Okay, and let's trim the hair because I think the more the hair's trimmed, the more it kind of bops around. So we could take it and go like this with it. Give it a little trim. And then, this is the fun part, you could just take it and like that and like I said just be careful the head will come off until it's dry and you can just take it and do little rips so little snips and little rips and then make the hair just little frayed bits like that more th I think the more thread and everything that goes like that and stuff it just is so funny it's just so good so now this way I did it where like that's her little nose or mouth or whichever and then those are the eyes so you can see this is a little bit different bead so I did that one like that and then that one like that 
So now we got like a little, we got a little doll, a little pair. De -de -de. They can dance together. Hey, 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 hey. Oh wait, he needs his belt. Or you know what? I don't know. I don't know why I said he. Maybe this is a little, maybe it could be a little boy. A little boy and girl. So you do it however you want. <laughs> Whatever your imagination takes you. <laughs> I know. I know. Sometimes I just don't want to grow up, you know? And I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys think the same way. Because it's just so much fun. It's like, why? If we could play around and make some fun fabric dolls, let's make some fun fabric dolls. I can do whatever I want to. And so can you. Okay, so we're going to put the little belt on. We don't want their little scroll coming unscrolled. like I said, if you guys want to see how I made the little belts and stuff, which is what I'm calling them now, apparently. I wasn't calling them that before. Uh, they're just little, the, the twine, they're the fabric twine. And then I add, you know, all the little fun stuff to it. So I show you guys how to do both. And I'm calling them belts on this one because, I mean, doesn't it look just like a little belt? So there we go. So I hope you guys loved this video as much as I loved making it with you guys. And we got a little set here. So there we go. Super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>